Welcome to Diplomatic Brief. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Rare earth elements, hidden in our phones powering wind turbines and driving electric cars, are the backbone of modern technology. For years, China controlled the global supply, but in August 2025, everything changed. Deep beneath the Western Philippines, scientists uncovered a vast deposit of rare earths, neodymium, praseodymium, and more, worth an estimated $2 trillion. Suddenly the Philippines stands at the center of a global race for green energy and digital innovation. President Marcos Jr. called it a game changer, promising to use this windfall to transform the nation and lift millions from poverty. But as the world watches, the Philippines faces tough questions. Can it harness this wealth without sacrificing its people or its natural wonders? The story begins with a geological mystery, a lost tectonic plate named Pontus, once a quarter the size of the Pacific Ocean. In 2024, Dutch researchers traced its remnants to Palawan, Borneo, and the South China Sea, revealing a hidden legacy beneath the Philippines. As Pontus was subducted and destroyed over millions of years, it left behind mineral-rich graveyards. What started as an academic breakthrough soon became a treasure map, pointing to the Philippines' rare earth jackpot. The archipelago's turbulent geological history, volcanoes, earthquakes, and shifting plates set the stage for this extraordinary find. The ghost of Pontus had left a spectacular inheritance. Now, the world's attention turned to what lay beneath the islands. Millions of years ago, the violent subduction of the Pontus Plate beneath the Philippine archipelago set in motion a geological process that would shape the destiny of Palawan. As these massive tectonic plates collided and ground against each other, unimaginable forces were unleashed deep within the earth. The result? The formation of rare earth veins, hidden treasures now buried beneath Palawan's lush forests and rugged mountains. As the Pontus Plate plunged into the mantle, the intense heat and crushing pressure caused elements like neodymium and praseodymium to separate from ordinary rock. Over countless millennia, these elements were concentrated into commercially viable deposits, forming the backbone of modern technologies like electric vehicles, wind turbines, and smartphones. Today these minerals are more valuable than ever, driving a global race for resources. These ophiolite complexes, ancient oceanic crust thrust onto land, are geological gold mines, offering scientists a rare glimpse into the Earth's deep past. They hold not only mineral wealth, but also clues to the planet's ever-changing history. The Philippines' position on the Pacific Ring of Fire brings both danger and opportunity. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are a constant threat, shaping the land and the lives of its people. Yet, these same forces have created a landscape rich in mineral resources making the country a focal point for mining and scientific exploration. As geologist Dr. Elena Reyes notes, our greatest hazards are also our greatest gifts. Her work, and that of her colleagues, is a testament to the resilience and ingenuity required to unlock these treasures while respecting the land. Archaeological finds reveal that Filipinos have always adapted to their environment, using local resources to build communities and culture. Now that same ingenuity faces its biggest test yet, balancing economic growth with environmental stewardship. The challenge is clear, manage a resource born from the Earth's deep past, ensuring that its benefits reach future generations without sacrificing the natural beauty and heritage of Palawan. The stakes have never been higher. The choices made today will echo for centuries, shaping not just Palawan, but the future of the Philippines and the world. After the Pontus Plate discovery, Filipino and international scientists launched a high-tech survey of Palawan. Using seismic imaging and core drilling, they confirmed vast concentrations of rare earths, far beyond expectations. In August 2025, the government announced the find, one of the world's largest rare earth deposits. President Marcos Jr. promised to channel the wealth into infrastructure, education, and health care, envisioning a new era for the Philippines. Global investors took notice, and the country's economic prospects soared overnight. The government pledged strict oversight and sustainability, determined to avoid the resource curse. The discovery was just the beginning. The real challenge was turning this underground fortune into lasting progress. The world was watching every step. Two trillion dollars, enough to erase the Philippines' foreign debt and supercharge its economy. The government plans to invest in infrastructure, create jobs, and establish a sovereign wealth fund to secure future generations. Developing a domestic rare earth processing industry could transform the Philippines into a high-tech manufacturing hub. 
The influx of investment in technology promises a ripple effect across all sectors, but the risks are real. The resource curse has toppled economies before, fueling corruption and inequality. The government's focus on transparency and regulation is crucial. The goal, ensure this windfall benefits all Filipinos, not just a privileged few. The nation stands at a crossroads, prosperity or peril. The Philippines' rare earth discovery is sending shockwaves through the world of global geopolitics, marking a turning point in the international race for critical resources. This unexpected find has thrust the nation into the spotlight, capturing the attention of governments, industries, and investors worldwide. For years, China's near-total monopoly on these vital minerals has given it immense leverage over the world's technology and defense sectors. From smartphones and electric vehicles to advanced weaponry, rare earths are the backbone of modern innovation. China's dominance has shaped global supply chains, leaving other nations vulnerable to supply disruptions and political pressure. Now, the Philippines emerges as a new strategic source, offering hope for diversification and security. The United States, European Union and Japan are eager to forge partnerships, seeing the Philippines as a crucial ally in reducing dependence on China and stabilizing global markets. This discovery could pave the way for new alliances, foreign investment, and security partnerships. Yet, it also demands delicate diplomacy with China, a powerful neighbor with its own interests in the region. The Philippines must navigate a complex web of relationships, balancing opportunity with the risk of escalating tensions. The deposit's location, partly in the disputed South China Sea, raises the stakes even higher. This region is already a flashpoint for territorial disputes, and the newfound resources could intensify competition, risking new confrontations over sovereignty and access to valuable minerals. The Philippines faces a pivotal moment. Leaders must weigh the promise of economic growth and global influence against the need for caution and strategic planning. Wise management of these resources could transform the nation's future, but missteps could invite conflict or exploitation. The world's eyes are now fixed on Manila, watching closely to see how the country will handle its newfound power. Expectations are high for stability, transparency and responsible leadership in this new era. With great power comes great responsibility. The choices made today will shape not only the Philippines' destiny, but also the balance of power in the region and beyond. The Philippines is no longer just a tourist destination or a regional player. It's now a key force in the global resource game, with the potential to redefine the world's economic and political landscape. Palawan, the heart of the rare earth find, is also the Philippines' last ecological frontier. This breathtaking island, often called the country's final frontier, is a sanctuary of untouched beauty, where ancient forests meet crystal-clear seas. Its landscapes are a living testament to the Philippines' natural wealth, drawing scientists, conservationists and travelers from around the world. Its rainforests and reefs are home to countless unique species, many already endangered. From the elusive Palawan peacock pheasant, to rare orchids and vibrant coral gardens, this region shelters life found nowhere else on Earth. Every inch of Palawan teems with biodiversity, much of it still undiscovered, making it a living laboratory for nature's wonders. But this fragile paradise faces mounting threats. Large-scale mining operations, driven by the global demand for rare earth minerals, threaten to devastate these delicate ecosystems. Deforestation, water pollution and habitat destruction loom large, putting both wildlife and local communities at risk. The scars left behind could be permanent, erasing species and traditions that have thrived here for centuries. In response, environmentalists and local advocates are raising their voices, demanding strict regulations, low-impact technologies, and the expansion of protected zones. Their goal is to ensure that Palawan's natural heritage endures for future generations, balancing the need for progress with the imperative to preserve what cannot be replaced. The recent discovery of a new endangered flower in Luzon is a stark reminder, nature still holds secrets waiting to be revealed. Each new find underscores how much remains unknown, even as we risk losing these treasures forever. It's a race against time to document, understand, and protect the wonders that make the Philippines unique. The government now faces a difficult crossroads, should it prioritize short-term economic gain from mining or invest in long-term environmental preservation. The decisions made today will shape not only Palawan's future, but also the legacy left for generations to come. The world is watching closely, as the Philippines stands at the center of a global conversation about conservation, 
and sustainable development. Palawan's fate is a test case for how humanity can balance progress with the urgent need to protect our planet's irreplaceable biodiversity. For Palawan, the stakes are nothing less than its identity, woven from the land, the sea, and the people who call this extraordinary place home. For Palawan's indigenous peoples, the rare earth discovery is deeply personal. Their ancestral lands and way of life are threatened by the prospect of mining, displacement, loss of culture, and environmental harm are real fears. Yet, indigenous communities have shown they are vital partners in conservation, as seen when the Banao tribe helped protect a newly discovered flower in Luzon. They demand a seat at the table, insisting on free, prior, and informed consent, as guaranteed by law. The government's commitment to upholding indigenous rights will be tested as never before. True progress means development that respects both people and planet. The voices of Palawan's first stewards must be heard. The Philippines stands at a historic crossroads, between prosperity and peril. The rare earth discovery offers a chance for national transformation, but only if managed with wisdom and care. Responsible stewardship means strict environmental protections, transparent wealth management, and genuine partnership with indigenous communities. The world is watching to see if the Philippines can set a new standard for sustainable resource development. This is a test of leadership, vision, and moral character. The choices made now will echo for generations. The hope that this geological gift uplifts the nation, protects its natural wonders, and inspires the world. The challenge of stewardship begins. The Philippines has the chance to light the way forward.